Well, of course, uh, Graham, here's, uh, I think, one of the most uh, amazing uh, portraits of uh, Fred Archer. And uh, I haven't seen one so beautiful as this. And uh, I've got to be honest, I don't know much about the artist. You can tell me more about it. Yeah. But it looks like uh, uh, this is three years before he tragically died. But what a uh, wonder, wonder, wonderful thing that this is. Yeah. No, it's definitely the best portrait we, we have of, of him. And it was painted by a, a female artist uh, in Victorian times called Rosa Corda. Um, who painted society por portrait and so forth. Um, proper studio painting, it's uh, amazing, really um, very, very striking image of him. And very often when we see paintings of jockeys, they're, they're painted in their silks. But here he is in his sort of you know, Sunday best and everything and looking very formal. And he, and he was he, he, three years before he died, so he was in his, yeah. six, in, in his 20s. And yeah. Of course, he, uh, he was an amazing jockey because uh, 13 times, uh, 13 times champion, champion jockey. Yes, yeah. uh, and he was a in a flat, and of course he was. His father was uh, 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 won the Grand National, National Hunt, yeah, National Hunt, right. and he, he came he born from Cheltenham as well. Born in Cheltenham, proper National Hunt, yeah, uh, country, and he he really wasn't. Uh, really made to be a flat race jockey. You know, he was about five foot nine. He was quite big boned. And to make the weight all his life, he was on this sort of starvation diet. Plus he used to get this um, mixture from his doctor. We don't know quite what was in it, but it obviously it helped him, you know, control his weight and everything. Um, but it, you know, what a tough life. And, and to think all the travel back then as well, there were, you know, no cars or anything. So, you know, it was up in the morning, probably riding a couple of lots out, traveling up the country, all on, you know, absolutely virtually eating nothing. I mean, I just don't know how how he did it really and ta and taking it 13 years in a row it's also like a modern day uh, time of maybe like uh, tony mccoy in national hunt racing where it's a very he's good. taken uh, he's taken a view yeah. and he's taken to things a uh, different level with the yeah. with the statistics that that we he had for him yeah uh, he could have well, i mean he could if he if he carried on like Maybe Leicester, yeah, or Frankie de Tory, yeah. Uh, they'd never been beaten. No, his final stats would have been off, off, off the scale, really. But it wasn't to be tragically. Um, he, I, I think, the turning point was when his wife um, died, giving birth to their daughter, and he never really recovered from that emotionally. I think that plus this extraordinary lifestyle um, and and trying to keep the, the weight down. And then he he got beat a short head in the Cambridgeshire, and he blamed himself really very very badly for it. Um, and it just sort of all spiralled out of control, unfortunately. And age 29, absolutely peak of his powers. I mean, he'd won the Triple Crown in 1886. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, he sadly took his own life. Uh, what that did, of course, and as somebody working in memorabilia all my life, this is what we have on the table is is fascinating because it's really. It's really the birth of uh, commercial memorabilia for sports. Well, well, I was thinking it, it, it could have been something like cricket, maybe so the, the, the W.G. Grace, yes. because uh, he was uh, the similar era, and uh, uh, things like pottery came his way. That's well. right. Yeah, it's a very good analysis. Yeah, they were exactly from the same same period, and and they achieved not just uh, national fame. Actually, they they were they were known all around the world. I mean, obviously. W.G. Grace in places like Australia. But of course. Um, and Fred in America um, as, as well, so he was well known. So it, it suddenly this um, industry really grew up. Um, we've got two Staffordshire pieces here made by Dalton. We've got a flask uh, and a vase, both with his image on. And then there's a, interestingly, this one was made in Manchester uh, and it's a little milk jug, cream jug, all with his image on. And all, you know, really people just wanted a little memento of him. Um, when he was taken away, fine too. Well, so, 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 uh, you certainly that junk will be very popular. So we've got a great uh, selection of um, archer items in the auction. This is just about the most expensive lot we have in the sale. That's at twelve to fifteen thousand well, pounds. But you yeah, know, it's absolutely it's, it's, when you actually see it. Like, uh, yeah. and uh, I'm lucky to, to to view it here. And uh, this is a real a beauty. Yeah, absolutely is. Yeah.